ID Made is following Indiana's unemployment crisis. Tonight, a woman who was told that she has to pay back thousands to the state for unemployment claims gets her case resolved, and she owes nothing. ID Team H Jasmine Miner tells us what she did, so that way it could help you. This woman wanted to remain anonymous, but she tells me there was no way she was paying back that $10,327 she owes to the Department of Workforce Development, especially after getting all of her documents in on time. So instead of calling the hotlines, she instead went straight to the top. When you can't get anywhere with somebody, whether it's customer service or whatever, then you go to the top. And that decision saved this woman a big chunk of money. When you go to the Indiana Transparency Portal, you can go to the Find a Person section and search for an agency. So let's try the Department of Workforce Development. It comes up, you hit search, and it pulls up every single person that works within the department. So claims investigators, auditors, even summer interns, their names, their emails, their phone numbers. And this woman tells me she went way past the unemployment hotline, directly emailed an investigator, the director of appeals, and take a look at this. She even emailed someone from the commissioner's office. She found the website, and one day after sending those emails... My appeal was canceled, but I did not owe that money, and um, also apologizes for any confusion. Yes, an actual apology from the department. A week later, that $10,000 was gone off of her account. She says she first did file an appeal, but after hearing nothing, decided to take matters into her own hands. As if um, being unemployed is not stressful enough. It's causing me a headache just telling you this. She says last year when she filed an appeal, it took eight months just to hear back. Now, like the thousands of others who have written into us, she says it starts at the top. Fred Payne, he makes $184,107.29 a year. That's his salary. I just looked it up online. If he has to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to fix this, he's the one who needs to do it. Commissioner Fred Payne addressed the issue in a news conference two weeks ago. Each one of those cases would be handled on a fact-by-fact -fact, uh, basis. And the governor told me the same thing on Tuesday. We go through them one by one by one. We will handle all of these on an individual basis. Um... It's like, no, a lazy way to hold innocent people responsible to fix their screw up. Yeah. They're being lazy and they don't deserve their jobs. This woman tells me like so many others, she has been trying really hard to find a job, but she's in her 50s and she says she's facing a lot of age discrimination when it comes to finding new employment. So if you are like her and you need some direct answers, we're going to have this link to the Indiana Transparency Portal right now on wishtv.com. Just click as seen on wish. I'm Jasmine Miner for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and don't forget to give us a follow on Facebook. Jasmine, thank you so much.